Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Victor Morales. I'd like to speak on a very important subject. My message today is titled, Repentance, a Work. There are many people teaching today that repentance is a work, and that we need not repent because we are not saved by works but neither are we saved by complacency and disobedience. Let every word be established by two or three witnesses, says the Apostle Paul, the Apostle of the Gentiles. We are commanded to prove all things and to hold fast that which is good, and we prove all things by comparing them with the Scriptures to see where the preponderance of the evidence lies. What saith the Scripture? If we are to find the truth, we are to look to the Scriptures as they are the only truth the infallible, inerrant truth. Therefore, either teaching can be validated by the scriptures as being inspired by the Spirit of God or by the Spirit of the devil. We are not to believe every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. The scripture says, There were false prophets among them, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Father that bought them. The scriptures clearly teach repentance for the remission of sins, and that by repentance we receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. They also tell us that through repentance we can believe the gospel, and also receive the remission of sins by the blood of Jesus Christ. They state that God gives repentance to those who acknowledge the truth, and that confession is made by the mouth unto salvation. They tell us that godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation, not to be repented of. The sorrow of the world worketh death. There are 14 scriptures that teach repentance, and 15 scriptures that command us to repent. That is far more than two or three witnesses. So we can see that by this simple process we can effectively prove this teaching as error. We can weigh the evidence of the scripture and see that this teaching does not come from the Spirit of God, but is inspired by the spirit of the devil. There are absolutely no scriptures, not one in either the Old Testament or the New Testament that say repentance is a work. There are zero scriptures which say that it is not necessary. This error is a doctrine of devils, as is the teaching of work salvation. It is a commandment of men and abominable. This error and its consequences are eternal damnation. The consequences of repentance, if it was not needed, would be simply taking the scripture as fact, and the worst judgment that we would receive from God would be that our works would be burned up, but we will still be saved as though by fire. The consequences for not repenting will be that the Lord will come upon us as a thief and will fight against us with the sword of his mouth, and we will be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and his glory. This is how I can say without a doubt that this teaching does not come from God but is inspired by the devil. John the Baptist was sent before us to prepare the way. John the Baptist was sent before Jesus to prepare the way for him. And what did he preach? Repentance. And why did he do that? So that we would be ready to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And that is why so many people in the scriptures were endued with power from on high, because they repented and believed the gospel. Therefore God gave them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and they were washed of their sins by the blood of Jesus Christ and received the gift of the Holy Ghost. This is the truth of the scriptures. This is what the scriptures teach about repentance. Now prepare ye the way. Make your path straight, for the kingdom of heaven draweth nigh. Repent and believe the gospel, and your sins shall be blotted out, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. May the Lord God Almighty give you the gift of repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. God bless you.